Well, good morning, everybody. It, I am so excited to be here today. This is really a long time coming. It is a great day to be here. I love our new location. This location, we've been here since 2022, and I really can't imagine being anywhere else. This is, if you see right outside the door, there's a bus stop. So people get to get here and, you know, they don't have to get in a car or an Uber or whatever. They can take the bus right down here to look for work. It is a perfect location. We intentionally stayed within the limits of, of the city of Albany because we want to continue to meet the, the needs of the workforce in this community. Helping New Yorkers find careers they love is absolutely the core of our mission here at the Department of Labor. So I'd like to begin by acknowledging my partners in government, starting with my dear friend, Civil Service Commissioner Tim Hoags, whom you'll hear from in a minute. I'd also like to recognize Assemblymember Pat Fahey, a force of nature in her own right, and of course, <laughs> Brian Williams, the Executive Director of the Capital Region Workforce Development Board. He's doing amazing work for all of us. Thank you all so much for being here today for this really important announcement. I also want to recognize the incredible hardworking staff of this Career Center. Thank you, and they're all standing right here. Thank you so much for helping your neighbors to find employment right here in this community. These are truly dedicated public servants, and they're a great example of what we're going to talk about today. Connecting New Yorkers with career opportunities is our specialty here at the Department of Labor. You know, state government is one of the largest employers in the capital region, and there are lots of paths to success in a public service job for job seekers in this market. But it spans far beyond this area. There are locations with open, loca open uh, I'm sorry, there are locations with open jobs in every region across New York State. And as someone who has been a New York State employee for almost 10 years, I can't believe it's been almost 10 years, <laughs> I can tell you firsthand that it is a pure joy to do this job. I always tell people, this is the best job I have ever had. And I know that I am not the only state employee who feels that way. State service offers so much. Of course, it offers competitive pay, and pay is a very big part of everybody's thinking when they go looking for work. But there's a lot more. The amazing health care benefits, including some care at no cost at all to the participants, something that young people and not so young people really want, <laughs> flexible schedules for a true work-life balance, because we understand if you have a family or other needs, sometimes five days in an office isn't ideal for you. A pension. So saving for your retirement is not an easy thing to do. It's a hard, hard task to do by yourself. Take that piece of money out and put it away and don't touch it. Being a New York State employee takes all of that stress away because they want to ensure that our workforce is cared for today and when they in, are in their well-earned retirement years. Eligibility for student loan forgiveness. This is a huge perk to anyone who is facing you know, college debt, student loan debt, and that's probably practically everybody under 35 or 40. You can actually get student loan forgiveness for the years that you work with the state government. And there are all kinds of positions at all kinds of skill level. It goes all the way from GEDs to master's degrees and more because there's something for everyone here at the state of New York. I always tell people working inside state government, state government is the umbrella organization, but you can work in different agencies, different parts of the state. It's very portable. You don't lose your accruals, you don't lose your benefits, but you can gain experience and have a ladder up to a really successful career. And perhaps one of my favorite perks of this job is you get to help your fellow New Yorkers. And, you know, that that's a hard thing to explain to people unless they've experienced themselves. It is a gift that that I didn't expect in my lifetime as, a, you know, I had a, a varied background before I came to the state. But really being able to help everybody across the state in whatever need they have that the DOL addresses, I sleep well at night. I know that we're doing great stuff for the people of New York. That is our mission. And you have a stake in ensuring that New York continues to thrive in the economy of tomorrow. Now, I know in the past it was a very confusing and often difficult task <laughs> to get into state service. Uh, it was a tough system. You had to take tests. You needed to know when the tests were going to be given. It was opaque. And a lot of people just didn't understand how to get in. They wanted to work for the state, but it just seemed closed. Thanks to Commissioner Hoags and his incredible staff and his partners, those days are over. 
Governor Hochul understood right from the beginning that we needed to change that dynamic because we need great workers in the state. We're not great if we don't have great workers. So the incredible work that they've done at the Civil Service Department has really helped to bring down so many barriers in such a short amount of time. You know, this is not your parents' civil service. This is a new civil service, and we want everybody to come down and find out what it's all about. It's far superior. It's very accessible. It's easier than ever to get on a path to a great family-sustaining career. My team at the Department of Labor shares these goals, and we work in close partnership with civil service, with, with Commissioner Hoke's team at, at the Department of Civil Service, because we all want to do the same thing. We want to connect New Yorkers with these incredible job opportunities. So I will stop talking and let the incredible commissioner of the Civil Service Agency come and tell you more about it, our wonderful commissioner, Tim Hoggs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. If, if I weren't a state employee already, I'd like, sign me up. <laughs> you have inspired, <laughs> you have inspired me. Like, I'm like, wow, I want to work for the state. And so thank you all for being here today. I'd like to once again acknowledge our partners at the Department of Labor, especially my wonderful partner, uh, Commissioner Reardon. i also like to thank Assemblymember Fahey for her support for our department and our dedicated public service workforce. Um, we also like to thank our external community, our workforce, and educational partners. And of course, I have to give a shout out to the wonderful individuals that make up team civil service at the Department of Civil Service, especially those that worked on the, uh, the Centers for Career and Government. And so we're here to talk about a pathway to public service and the amazing opportunities that are available for people that are interested in a rewarding career in state government. I want to start by saying that New York State workforce has continued to deliver as they always have done, from transportation to public safety, to health, to protecting our environment, and so much more. State employees are there for the people of the state of New York. But it's also true that our public workforce has decreased over the past decade, leaving vacancies and positions responsible for serving and protecting New York State residents. Add in that more and more state employees are nearing retirement eligibility, and also add in the fact that COVID impacted us and we weren't immune to the hiring challenges that faced us in a post-COVID economy. But I'm also excited and glad to say since the governor, Governor Hochul, has taken off as she has supported our workforce and has taken many steps to bolster the ranks. She's lifted the state, the years long hiring freeze, eliminated application fees for civil service exams through December of 2025. She's expanded the government program that is, that is a focused on hiring individuals with disabilities and veterans with disabilities in our 55B and C program. And most importantly, she has provided funding for new testing centers across the state, provided also a marketing campaign that is going statewide to, to help people understand the opportunities that are available in state government and trying to demystify those things that people said, I had to know someone or know someone and knock on the door three times and then they open and then they say, okay, come in, now you're part of state government. And so what Commissioner Reardon was talking about, this great initiative that we were able to do under Governor Hochul is called New York Helps, Hiring for Emergency Limited place pro, uh, Placement Program, which since its inception, and I just got a new update on the numbers, has brought in over 20,000 individuals to both state and local governments, which is, a, which, yes, that, that, deserves, that deserves a round of applause. Right? So when we were trying to figure out how do we fill these critical jobs, the teams got together and worked together and government was no longer siloed and we work with our partners and our customers to say how can we do this better and more efficiently and so we came up with this this program to help and so the governor knows that even with the great work we've done there's even more that we can do and that's why we're here today i am so pleased to announce that today uh, we've partnered with our friends over at the department of labor and we are opening 
what we call our, our, our centers for career and government in 10 locations around the state and already established Department of Labor Career Centers like this one that we're in right here. And so the concept behind this is that there are individuals already coming into those public places and seeking employment. A lot of times they're not aware about the opportunities that were available with, with the state. And so it was it was a no brainer, as you said, right? So why 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 didn't why didn't we do this sooner, right? And so it takes it takes opportunities to just talk and match and, and this was a this like I said, this this was a no brainer. And so we are excited about the opportunity to demystify uh, the civil service system and how people can get in. And we are we are open to all. And and part of our staff's mission is to not only recruit for hard to fill positions, but also to promote and enhance hiring of individuals with disabilities and veterans. And so we, we don't want anyone excluded in this opportunity. So if you're uh, an educational institution or an organization that works with job seekers, I encourage you to connect with your local Center for Careers in Government and see how the Department of Civil Service can help and this is this is my last thing, and then I'll pass it over. But um, as Commissioner Reardon alluded to, um, public service is a noble calling, and it's a stable and rewarding career where you get the opportunity to help individuals from your community and across the state on a daily basis. So we need the brightest and the best to join us in New York State's workforce because we are the finest public servants in the country. And with that, I want to turn it over to my wonderful friend, Assemblymember Patricia Fahey. Good morning, and thank you. It's, uh, it's such a pleasure and an honor to join you here today. Uh, thank you for this uh, extraordinary initiative. Uh, as I said to, to both commissioners when I walked in, why didn't we think of this earlier? Um, because I and I said I own that because I once worked at De I very proudly once worked at Department of Labor many many years ago and at the Federal Department of Labor uh, under the Clinton administration. So I I know a little bit about this work and I know since COVID we have had uh, an increasing uptick in terms of the need of public service and a shout out to the governor. Uh, the hiring freeze is off. We've got to fill those positions. And I, too, agree. This is a bit of a calling. This is public service. I, I, while I am an elected official, I also believe I am a public servant. And this is about serving the public, whether you are helping them uh, check uh, with the jobs where we check our clean water, make sure we have clean water, clean air, or whether you're just helping somebody uh, navigate the unemployment system or navigate um, other uh, other benefits uh, that they may be eligible for. Uh, these are... Um, jobs that really have value every day, my office is reaching out to one of the state agencies. So we know how much the public relies on, and I tell my office all the time, the casework we do, I can pass all the bills in the world, I can get all the grants in the world, but it is that casework that is so valuable and it's so important as we help folks navigate. And sometimes there's just a backlog. So we need those workers. I should also say as higher education chair, I love and I, it bears reiterating the fact that there is public service uh, loan forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Uh, so thank you for mentioning that, Commissioner, because in higher education, we have a lot, we have a number of programs that provide loan forgiveness, such as for nurses. But I also have a stack uh, of, of bills asking for loan forgiveness for those that are uh, entering the legal service, uh, those that are entering other health professions, those that are entering men mental health. There is a whole host of those. Uh, but in general, if you work for the state, you automatically get that loan forgiveness. And that is a huge draw that does bear reiterating. So I, um, I can't say enough how much I love this initiative, uh, New York Helps. I also need to reiterate what the commissioner said, and that is the fees are waived. <laughs> um, navigating just helping people through, civil, through the civil service application process has even been beyond my ability. 
Uh, so I love that we have just made it so much easier. And again, we we just need to make sure this works. I'm proud to join you with the, the 10 others across the state. I hope uh, we're back here next year or even in six months measuring the success and that we go from 20,000 to 30,000 uh, in these next few months because these are jobs that have true value. And this is so important. Again, whether you think of, I often think of the, the one of the basics that is so valued by the public, and that is uh, wanting to be able to take for granted when they turn on their tap that they have clean water. Well, that doesn't come without a lot of work, without a lot of follow-up, without a lot of testing. All of that is through very critical public servants. And again, I could, I could describe a million other wonderful <laughs> jobs. Um, with that, I just want to um, turn this over to talk a little bit more about the importance of this work and the importance of this recruitment and, uh, and start with another friend here and another ally in growing our workforce, and that is Brian Williams, who's been the longtime chair of the Capital Region Workforce Development Board. So again, thank you, Commissioner, uh, both commissioners. Thank you to the governor. This is just great, and I am so proud to have supported some of these increases as we do try to replenish our state agencies and then grow grow these jobs. Again, it's about not just growing jobs, it's about growing our service to the public. Who Often this is a lifeline uh, in, in terms of their needs and addressing the needs of the public. So in honor, and with that, Brian Williams. Thank you, Assembly Member. Commissioners, thank you very much. And thank you all for being here today. As Capital Region Workforce Board Director, I'm incredibly excited of this very meaningful partnership that has the potential to change the lives of many job seekers in our region. Together, we're embarking on a journey to assist individuals in discovering, pursuing, and securing meaningful employment with New York State. As many of you know, government jobs offer stability, growth opportunities, and the chance to serve our communities, as we talked about today, in a very profound way. Yet too often, these opportunities remain unknown to many job seekers, or they feel inaccessible to them. This process can be daunting, or even out of reach of those who aren't familiar with the systems or the resources available to navigate them. This is where this partnership comes in, with both, both the Department of Labor, the Civil Service, and our career centers across the state, making a real difference in the lives of job seekers by providing those tools, training, and guidance right here in the centers so they can discover these opportunities. Through this initiative, we will be offering workshops, career counseling, direct assistance in understanding the civil service exam processes for those jobs that are, star, are still exams, application procedures, and the many, many paths across the various government agencies. I love how Commissioner Reardon talks about New York State being an umbrella organization. Um, young folks are interested in going and working at multiple employers. You can do that in New York State amongst the agencies. We're going to be clo working closely with these individuals in helping them navigate the perceived complex, perceived complexities of the civil service system. <laughs> Wide range of jobs available from administrative positions to public safety to health to education and many, many more. Gaining the insights into the skills and qualifications needed to pursue these roles and within our career centers, the access to training needed to meet those requirements in many cases. And most importantly, just learn about the benefits of working for New York State, not just the salaries, the benefits, the flexibility, and the pride that comes in serving the public. By bridging the gap between job seekers and these valuable opportunities, we are ensuring that more individuals can take part in the growth and success of our state. Not only does this help job seekers find steady, rewarding employment, but also strengthens our civil service workforce, which ultimately benefits every New Yorker. So we are committed to ensuring this partnership creates a real change by providing personal tailored support for these job seekers, whether they're just entering the workforce or looking for a career change or they're individuals with disabilities, veterans, any of our special populations that again, feel that these jobs are inaccessible to them? The answer is they are not. 
so we can provide that mentorship and empower more individuals to take the next step with careers in confidence. Thank you.